Okay, Kristen Clark here from PopCultureMadness.com, and we are backstage at the Uproar Festival in Holmdale, New Jersey. And could you introduce yourself to our site visitors? My name's Sonny, and I'm singing for the band P.O.D. Great, thank you so much. So how are you enjoying Uproar? What does it mean for you to be part of the festival this year? Uh, it's amazing. I mean, great bands. It's like, uh, I know the majority of these bands toured with them before, so it's like a family reunion. A lot of the newer bands playing the side stage where we're at, it's cool to just hang out with them, meet them, and see where they're, you know, where they're at and check out new music. So it's been a good time so far. That's awesome. And you guys are currently touring behind Murdered Love, the recent one released, and I just caught the video for Hire. Are there any uh, fun stories to share from that? Where was it filmed, Doug, of curiosity? It was actually filmed in San Diego, our hometown. It was something we wanted to do so we don't have to go to LA We want because we want, kind of wanted to just get the lifestyle and the scenario so we did everything downtown the skater boy in the, in the video is actually my nephew and the drummer's son so and every, every single character you see in there is just either friend or family so it's, everything was kept local that's great so it's like a family affair a little reunion that's yeah, fun yeah that's good fun. times <laughs> So, I mean, congratulations on Lost and Forever being number three at radio. That's amazing. Yeah, we just found that out like yesterday. So we're just, you know, we're humbled by the experience. You know, we took a long hiatus and coming back to this this industry and this business, not expecting anything, and for it to doing for it to be doing as well as it's, it's doing, we're 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 excited about it. So do you feel like after taking a hiatus, you know, for that time period, do you feel that things have kind of come back refreshed? And I mean, I'm sure the musical landscape has kind of taken a different turn. Yeah, you know what, I think for me, in a, in a nutshell, just long story short, I had to step away from just this business, this industry. It's just the corruption of it, just the monotony of it. It's just the same old thing. And now, like, there's no money to be made. There's not like, you know, business, the, the industry's collapsing. And it's like, I just didn't want to keep doing show after show as this, this brand you know what I mean you kind of sometimes you just start to lose that passion and so for me because I love it so much I did have to put it down not knowing that I'd ever come back and then but we decided to after almost four or five years and and I think the, the music reflects that oh absolutely so what are the immediate plans for you after uproar festival uh, we do a bunch of flyout dates. We're looking at some international stuff. I know the one big thing we're doing is that ship rocks oh, nice. with like corn, Godsmack in this moment, um, where it's just like a bunch of rock bands on a cruise ship for five days of the Bahamas. Okay, you know what? That sounds like it's gonna be adventurous. <laughs> That's it. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, a lot. <laughs> I definitely want to see some uh, tour videos or behind the scenes yeah. stuff of what goes on there. When you look, I, I've actually Googled some stuff because they've done it for a few years yeah. now and it looks crazy. It looks it looks fun. That's awesome. So I see you guys are really active with social media and that's definitely been one of the new ways that people are sharing and learning about music. How do you feel about like kind of where that's taking um, promotion and, and, you know, the industry in general? In you know, I mean, we're, we're trying. We're old school. You know, we used to get people's. We used to carry a notepad and have people put their address on. You know, what I mean, we're yeah, like mailing lists. Like we're old school, but you got to stick with the times. I mean, I think the best part about it is that you can actually have cool little conversations personally because people could say, you know, if they if they're desperate enough, they want to get to you. It's never like just hey, you guys rock. It's always like this song or this lyric or this you know this, this band changed my life and I stopped you know doing drugs or I didn't want to kill myself and it's like when you hear stuff like that it's just immediate, immediately it's like a connection you're like dude that's so cool to hear and I like that part about it you know it, you kind of lose the mystery uh, the, the mystique of rock and roll and everything because everything is so tight knit you know yeah. but I like that too because someone could walk up and be like hey I'm um, I'm so and so I just tweeted you this morning but hey what's up dude you know and so that's the cool part about it I, I think since we're such, we're close knit with our fan base, it's it's nothing's changed, you know. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think it does give so much more accessibility to fans. Now, maybe a little too much sometimes, yeah, but sometimes, sometimes you gotta, you know, I, I gotta get to my family. You know what I mean? Or you'll spend all day, you know, tweeting back stuff. So. Absolutely. So as a just for fun kind of question, they all the hype with 2012 and this uh, being the, the end of the world, possibly, we'll see. But um, what would be one of the last things you would like to be doing? If it was the end of the world? <laughs> uh, well, I, first of all, I have to be with my wife, my three kids, and uh, I, you'd probably have to just put me on a Hawaiian shore. Watching the sunset, waiting for the world to end. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you put it so eloquently. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you so much for taking a few minutes out to speak with me and, you know, definitely keep us up to date with what's going on and have fun on that cruise. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Great. Thank you. <laughs>